I'm never one to knock a toy for its cost, considering that the toy is really there to play with, so as long as it holds up, it's okay. <laughs> Toy fans, so I'm here with another Jurassic June toy review. Uh, this time I have picked up this wonderful toy uh, locally at Walmart. Now this is actually Walmart's own toy line, toy company that they have uh, through Walmart Inc. And it's actually called Kit Connection. Uh, so what I picked up is the, it's actually called Dinosaur Playset. However, for the descriptor box, because there's like, I think two or three of these different sets. Um, and they're all called dinosaur play sets. So for, for what I did is I actually named it the Theron Xenosaurus, which is what this large, long-clawed uh, guy is supposed to be. There's few inaccuracies. And the helicopter set. I decided on the helicopter in this one because even if I don't display it on a shelf, I'm probably going to have this hanging from my ceiling because it just seems so ridiculous yet just so amazing so what do you say let's check out everything about it and see if this toy is worth all the sound effects and lights Aha! all right this is the dinosaur playset now this is the one that i said was the of course, the helicopter, and you've got a, a mercenary guy there, and then you've got the Theron Xenosaurus. So this is a long-clawed, bird-like dinosaur here. Um, you know, there's some inaccuracies in that. It, it has some extra claws here. It normally has supposed to have three, but they gave him a posable thumb, it looks like. I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe this is a little bit more accurate than I thought. But either way, this is the dinosaur playset. Now... Each one of the Kid Connection sets are actually called Dinosaur Play Sets. And there's a another set that I'm actually looking at that has a whole, I guess it's like a Tyrannosaur paddock and everything with it. That also I believe is called Dinosaur Play Sets. So there's not a lot of difference and uniqueness in what these are called, just that that's what it is. Um, now with this one, it has it is made by Kid Connection. And Kid Connection, I had to look up, is actually only sold by Walmart. So this is a part of Walmart Industries, Inc. So this is a part of their own particular toy line. It does have a Try Me uh, feature here. It says Press Down Claw. You know, and I it has lights, light and sound. And, you know, I love the roar. Not quite sure about the lights in the head like his head's exploding or he's about to shoot fire but you know eh, whatever now uh with this we do get one figure and 14 pieces let's go to the back and check it out now there's a lot to this box everyone hold on to your butts <laughs> it says set includes helicopter dinosaur figure and 11 accessories so the helicopter dinosaur and figure are all considered accessories so he has 11 uh tools Helicopter, dinosaur, and figure. And of course, dinosaur playset here made by Kid Connection through Walmart. Uh, Kid Connection toys are designed for instant play and maximum fun. Everyday toys with no complicated instructions that promote excitement and stimulate the imagination. And I'm really big component of this, especially uh, being a teacher and someone who enjoys play and thinks of play as a very essential and important tool to a child's upbringing. Choose your Kit Connection toys and you'll always be gift giving favorite. So this is one of those that I took kind of a $5 gamble on. And I said, you know what? I've been looking at these and eyeballing these for so long. It was really time for me to check it out and see if it was worth the $5 that I spent on it. Now that's the box. And the box isn't gonna tell us anything else about this particular playset. We need to open it up and see what's inside. All right, and straight out of the package, we get pretty much all of this. So. We've got our helicopter here. We've got, of course, our figure. We get this uh, Theron, Z Theron Xenosaurus. And then there was something clicking in the back of the box. Thank you, sir. And what it was is it's a cardboard piece that actually has instruction about how to uh, take the backpack and stick it on the back of the figure. So we've got a nice little picture uh, thing here of that. So that'll go with the rest. We get, of course, oh, this really cool capture claw. <laughs> and then we get this uh, this kind of capture net here that wraps around the head. <laughs> and then we get a sprue 
of a whole bunch of pieces. So, so far we've got one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And you know, I'm not sure about this actual piece here, but this looks like this could also be used for something as well. So how about we get the parts off? All right, ready? And all right, and there you go. I mean, simple as that, like magic, right? Uh, so what they were talking about with the backpack is the backpack has got a peg, much like classic G.I. Joe. So you take your guy, put the backpack on him in that screw hole, and it holds there. Um, I guess you could possibly even do that one, but it kind of goes up top. Now he comes with all these accessories. So he's got, he's got a flashlight, and that's actually cool. It's got a little button on it and everything. Pretty detailed. He has a shovel. He has a pickaxe. He has a knife. He has a machete. <laughs> of course, if you're in the jungle, it makes sense. He has a pair of binoculars. He has a lantern. And he has a canteen as well. Now, the canteen does not have a plug on it, so he just kind of holds it, doesn't plug onto anything. And of course, with that, he's got two entrapment pieces. Dinosaur, helicopter, I mean, and a backpack. This guy is stacked. He's got everything he needs. Uh, so far, a lot of these things hold in his hands. Okay. His hands are a little bit pliable. Now with these, you've got, uh, this actually has a capture call on it so he can grab this one as well. This one, however, uh, I had to get you out of the way, does not have a capture call. However, it's got this section right here on there. and I. I was kind of trying to figure out, I was like, what in the world would this fit to? And I haven't quite figured out if it uh, attaches or snaps anything, but it seems like this would be something that would attach to a vehicle because it has what looks like a, a piece that has an armament that would hold it where you could lift this up and down. Uh, thing is on this particular helicopter we don't have anything that's going to hold that now with that we still have the sprue tree now the sprue tree has got so much detailing and stuff i kind of feel bad for trying to get rid of it so i might actually use mine as some some sort of tool carrier if i can make it that way though i this thing won't hold anything after the fact but i will have to admit much like what playmates did back in the day with um with their sprue tree once you clipped everything away and you could put up the ninja stars and and have the weapons kind of peg up against it this would be so cool to have something very similar to that and the fact that it kind of snaps on to some vehicles or it could attach to certain things use as a stretcher i would like to see this thing be used for something else that's that's the man and his parts now let's take a look at the theranzinosaurus uh, now this guy, he's got some pretty good paint app. He's, you know, he's all molded in this orange plastic. He's got some blue highlights up here for like the feathered and scaled areas. White on the teeth, red on the tongue, and some gray on these gnarly, gnarly super claws. Now, all in all, he's fairly thin and he is sculpted fairly thin if you see him. So he doesn't have a lot of broadness to him. And he, he does kind of stand with both legs kind of, uh, you know, uh, like walk on the moon one foot in front of the other kind of thing. There's not a lot of spread here. And the articulation is very simple. So it's all just hinged. Hinged at the hips and hinged at the arms. Now this arm has the action feature, which is lights and sound. Um, it's one of those that I love the sound. I'm not quite sure about the flashing light in his head, uh, but it's there nonetheless. The speaker is back here, it's fairly loud. And right here, you've got uh, an opening hatch to the button cells, and all this can be taken apart. So you can really, I guess, mod him if you want down the road. Now, because of this arm being an action feature, it's not gonna go down any. That's kind of where it's at. Um, however, you could pose him maybe with his arms back, or pose him a little bit more with the arms forward. There's not a lot of posability, but there's enough to kind of make him fairly unique last part of this is the helicopter now this helicopter i i think it's pretty cool uh the guy just kind of sits in there he sits in there fairly well 
and you just kind of set them in. It has no windows, so nothing, nothing clear. And then you've got this landing gear here. It does not pop off. It's actually locked in place. You've got a cannon up front, and it does not turn. You do have a turning back fan here, but it's pretty stiff. It doesn't turn that well, and it definitely doesn't blow to turn. And then you've got these blades There's up here, and they don't spin very well so they're they're a little stiff so now all of this comes together in that one pack with the price point that we have with this coming in at five dollars there's a lot there and this is really meant for the kids i'm in love with this thing it's as ridiculous as it is i think it's a lot of fun i just got to figure out how in the world i'm going to display this this will probably end up hanging from my ceiling with some of my other flying vehicles so i just got to figure out how to get this to i'm thinking maybe that'll work I'm not sure. I really like to get the capture thing on there. Let's talk cost with this, okay? I bought this from Walmart for five dollars. Um, any of these adventure sets you can buy for five dollars. My kid was just telling me, "Hey, there's one that has a jeep and a lion in it." I'm like, "Yeah, I know." And it's got a mercenary type guy. There's others that have helicopters and all sorts of things. So these things they are fairly cheap because they are sold specifically with Walmart. But it doesn't feel cheap. There, there is a little bit of I guess like love within this that it doesn't feel just like it's about to break fall apart cheap something you get at a gas station that's only meant to last for a few days i could see this lasting for a while with an enough rough play but that being said five dollars for 14 pieces so that's a vehicle a person a dinosaur and a whole bunch of accessories that would drive my friend jeff crazy with trying to figure out where to put them i'm going to say that's cheap one dollar sign you cannot beat that cost and i'm, and I'm saying that because even with the final faction toys, you're getting, you know, a figure and a few weapons. That's a dollar. If you were to get the new vehicle that's coming out in the winter, you know, that itself is going to be a dollar and then a dollar for all the add-ons. They got a dinosaur. It's also a dollar. Normally I'd say that that's, you know, uh, a figure, a vehicle, uh, a creature and accessory pack. That's four bucks with final faction stuff. Here it's $5, it's all packaged together, and you get lights and sound, so I, I think it's worth it. $1 sign, this is a really cool one to have. Let's talk stars on this. Now, stars, with the exception of figuring out where in the world to put all this stuff and knowing exactly how these pieces fit to one another, and even having the nice design sprue that doesn't do anything, I'm, I'm going to go down half a star on that because of the fact that you know, with Playmates, we had them as like little stands to hold all the weapons. And I think that something like that would be, that would have been perfect for this, uh, you know, but that, that also takes a little bit more design and some more engineering. So for this one, I'm going four and a half out of five stars. There are some minor qualms with this. Um, I'm not as concerned about paint app on, on all of the mercenary, though there's some areas that could be painted easily. And I, I think that the blades should turn a little bit more. The, the blaster not turning in the front's a little kind of crazy. The fact that the dinosaur is kind of narrow, you know, some of this stuff, it, things that need to be fixed. But for what we're paying, it's really not that bad. I still think that this is a fun set to have. Uh, let's go preview. There we go. Okay. That should be a good one. So that's going to, that this is going to be the, the end of our, uh, drastic June, uh, episode. So you definitely want to <laughs> stick around for that one. That's going to be a good one and uh, very informative for those who are now looking for that particular piece that's coming out soon. Okay. All right. Now remember they're not dolls. They're action figures, action figures with helicopters and dinosaurs, dino hunt action figures. Yeah. This episode of Teddy Ray Gun was sponsored by Marvin Dog Media. To learn more about Marvin Dog Media, visit www.marvindogmedia.com. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below to let YouTube know that you like what I'm making. And be sure to hit that bell notification so you get updates to future content.